Maritime English Conversations on Merchant Vessel Chapter 2 On Board a Tanker Self-Introduction, The Captain's Cabin After knocking at the door of the Captain's Cabin Chief Officer, Captain, Third Mate Elon and Third Engineer Johnny are here, Sir Captain, come in I've been expecting you Chief Officer, let's go in Captain, I'd like to introduce you to third mate, Mr. Elon, and third engineer, Mr. Johnny. Elon, nice to meet you, Captain. I'm third mate Elon from Manila. I am 22 years old and I am determined to do my best. Johnny, nice to meet you, sir. I'm third engineer Johnny. I'm also from Manila. I am 23 years old and I hope to do my best, too. Captain, shaking hands, nice to meet you both. I'm Captain Phillips. Welcome aboard the Persian Adventure. Please have a seat. Elon and Johnny, thank you, sir. Captain, is this your first time on a Japanese ship? Elon, yes, it is, and I'm a little nervous. I've never been on such a large ship. Captain, oh, don't worry. Everyone is nervous the first time. Just watch your step and don't get into any trouble. I expect everyone to work hard, but if you don't understand something, just ask one of us. In Japan, we have a saying, asking for help is a momentary shame, but never asking for help is a lifetime shame. The worst situation is when you pretend that you understand when you really don't, and then you fail to do your work right. Elon and Johnny, We'll keep that in mind, sir. Chief Officer, Chief Officer. Expect, wait for, to look forward to something. Determined to do my best, will try hard to do the best I can. Nervous, worried, uneasy. Watch your step, be careful, look where you are going. Get into trouble, have or cause problems. Saying, Proverb, adage, motto. Momentary, short, brief, temporary. Shame, disgrace, loss of honor. Lifetime, for your whole life, until you die. Throughout your life. Pretend, act as if, make believe. Fail, not succeed, be unable to accomplish something. The COC room of the tanker. Second officer, hi, you're the third mate, Mr. Elon, aren't you? Welcome on board. I'm the second mate and my name is Sakamoto. Nice to have you with us. Elon, nice to meet you. My name is Elon. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Manila. Second officer, is this your first time on a tanker? Elon, yes, it is. I've been on a 20,000 ton bulk carrier before, and I received tanker training in the Philippines, which was mainly lectures. I also trained using a tanker simulator at one of the Japanese shipping company's training centers. It was quite helpful. Second officer, I did that simulator training, too. Training is different from the real job, but it's quite helpful. By the way, I'm from Hiroshima. I have three children. The eldest one is 13. He is a junior high school student. My family comes to see me whenever my ship arrives in Japan. They have already been to my cabin and made a big fuss. Elon, that's great. I'm single and my parents live with my elder brothers. Both of my brothers work for Japanese companies in the Philippines. There are a lot of differences in culture and in social structure between Japan and the Philippines. I'm dying to learn about Japan. Second officer, that's a great attitude. Learning about each other's culture helps us understand each other better. That's the first step towards having a pleasant and peaceful time on board. COC, Cargo Oil Control. Second officer, Second officer also called second mate, the rank that comes after first mate. Second mate, 
a friendly way of addressing the second officer. Bulk carrier, large ship that carries raw goods in its hold simulator, machine for practice. Shipping company, large company that owns and operates boats. Hiroshima, large port city in western Japan. Made a big fuss, made a big issue about something. Single, unmarried. Elder brother, older brother. Difference, things that are not the same or similar. Culture, arts, philosophies, products of any society. Social structure, organization of a society. I'm dying to, want to do something very much. Attitude, way of thinking, behavior, and manners. Self-introduction on a passage. Johnny, to a Japanese crew member passing by, hello. I'm third engineer, Johnny. I just came on board. Second engineer, hi. Nice to meet you. I'm second engineer, Suzuki. I was checking a pump so I couldn't come to the engine control room when the chief engineer introduced you. Johnny, boy, I was surprised by the size of the engine. It's the first time that I've seen such a big one. Second engineer, this ship keeps us busy and she's a good one to learn many different jobs on. Johnny, I'm sure I'll learn a lot. The small number of crew also surprised me. Second engineer, well, it means that each crew member takes on a lot of responsibility. I do hope you'll become familiar with the ship quickly, and do your job well. We all count on each other. I'll help you whenever there's something that you don't understand. Also, read and study all the instruction books. Don't hesitate to learn things using your hands, feet, and body. You know, hands-on experience. That's the way Japanese people work. Johnny, I see. I was told the same back home. Second engineer, it's important to work hard. Doing a good job helps you gain confidence. Oh, by the way, I should tell you more about myself. I'm 30 years old. I'm single and I come from Yamaguchi. I like fishing. Pretty handy when you work on a boat, don't you think? Johnny, sure. I'm 23 years old and I come from Manila. I don't have any hobby. I just like reading. Crew member, a member of a crew, all the people working on a boat, airplane, train, etc. Second engineer, second engineer. Chief engineer, the highest ranking engineer on a ship. Responsibility, duty, work a person has to do. Become familiar with, to come to know something well. Count on, depend on, rely on, expect somebody else's help. Instruction book, a book that shows or teaches things, procedures, etc. Hesitate, be slow to act, speak, or decide, for example, as a sign of uncertainty. Hands-on experience, learning by doing or through active participation. Confidence, trust, feeling sure, feeling of assurance. Handy, convenient, easy to use or apply. Being taken to a cabin. Second officer, okay, I'll take you up to your cabin. Just follow me. We are on D deck now. Your cabin is on B deck, two floors above. Let's take the elevator. Elon, is the elevator in service all the time? Second officer, except during an emergency. And you should always use good manners. Shut the door quietly but firmly, that sort of thing. Here we are. This is your cabin. Elon, thank you. Second officer, the next cabin is the chief mates. And the first engineer, second engineer, and third engineer cabins are also on this floor. Elon, is the chief engineer on the same deck as the captain? Second officer, that's right. There's a water fountain over there for when you are thirsty. Next to it is the laundry room. There are two washing machines. 
One is for underwear and slightly dirty clothes. The other is for heavily stained clothing such as oily coveralls. Please tell the chief officer if they go out of order. Elon, okay. By the way, your English is very good. Second officer, thank you. I'm very glad to hear that. I often read English newspapers and try to brush up on my English all the time. Here, why don't you settle down in your cabin? Elon, thank you. In service, working, in operation. Emergency, a sudden, urgent development of a serious matter. First engineer, a ship's crew in charge of the engine's water fountain, a device for supplying fresh drinking water. Washing machine, a machine which washes clothes automatically. Underwear, undergarment, clothes worn directly on a person's body. Heavily stained, badly soiled, very dirty. Coverall, loose, one-piece garment worn by workmen, to protect clothes. Out of order, not working, broken. Brush up, to improve, to polish up. Settle down, to live in an ordinary way, to feel relaxed, to become less nervous. 15. Getting to know the ship, the bridge. Elon, the I altitude on the VLCC seems very high. How high is it? Second officer, it is 26 meters when fully loaded and 37 meters at ballast level. The ship is now half loaded so it is about 32 meters. Elon, the steering stand looks like a car's steering wheel. It doesn't look like a ship's wheel at all. This is the engine control panel. This must be the engine telegraph. And this is the telephone that connects you to the engine room, isn't it? Second officer, yes, it is. All you have to do is pick up the receiver and speak. The rest are all meters related to the engine. This is the Doppler sonar. It's more accurate than the electric magnetic log. It is especially helpful when coming into birth. Elon, oh, this is the radar, and it has ARPA. Second officer, ARPA is very useful. Make sure to remember that using your own eyes is essential. You should never rely solely on the radar. Don't depend on the radar picture for information. Always confirm with the naked eye, even if visibility is bad. Elon, yes, I understand. Second officer, the ship is equipped with an electrical charting system It shows the position of the ship by receiving signals from the GPS. But observing the position with your own eyes, especially for cross-bearing, is one of the basics for a deck officer. Elon, I will learn cross-bearing properly. Is this the GMDSS? Second officer, yes, I'll tell you about it later. I altitude, I level, altitude equals height, distance from sea level. VLCC, very large crude carrier. Fully loaded, a ship's holds are filled to capacity. Ballast, a heavy material, usually seawater placed in a ship's tank for greater stability at ballast level, sailing with no cargo. Steering wheel, a wheel used for steering, such as a rudder. Telegraph, a communication system over directly connected wires. Receiver, a part of a telephone, television, etc. which receives incoming signals. Doppler sonar, a sonar working on the Doppler principle which is used to measure a ship's speed. Electric magnetic log, a ship's speed measuring mechanism operating on an electromagnetic system. ARPA, automatic radar plotting aids. Naked eye, unaided eye, seeing things with one's own eyes. Visibility, the distance that can be seen without using instruments. Electrical charting system, Electrical display of navigational charts GPS, Global Position Satellite System Cross-bearing, a method of finding out a ship's location GMDSS, Global Maritime Distress and Safety System 
16 getting to know the ship communication facilities johnny excuse me may i come in captain sure come in johnny i brought my passport my mariner's license and my seaman's book captain thank you the expiration date of your passport is in 2032 so you have 10 more years is this seaman's license filipino this ship's panamanian so we need a panamanian license do you have one johnny yes i do but i left it in my cabin captain i need to see it will you bring the license and the seaman's book later please do you have vaccination certificates johnny i have a cholera certificate i'll bring it later too captain oh we don't need the cholera certificate do you have a yellow fever certificate johnny no i don't captain that's not good you won't need it for this voyage but you might need it for the next one you should get your yellow fever vaccination done next time you are in japan it is too late to get it now johnny i'm sorry i wasn't told about it by the way the radio equipment seems completely different captain it was changed when we started using the gmdss johnny so all information is exchanged with the gmdss captain yes you can say that most messages sent between the ship and headquarters are done by inmarsat in the waters around japan we use the coastal telephone system which covers a wide area since it also recently started using the satellite system another communication system we use is the vhf telephone for contacting pilots and other vessels you can use in marsat for private telephone calls too mariner's license a license issued to seamen expiration coming to a close or end or termination filipino of or native of the philippines panamanian of or native of panama vaccination immunization using vaccines certificate a paper proving or certifying something cholera an acute infection with watery diarrhea vomiting cramps often fatal yellow fever an acute disease transmitted by mosquitoes characterized by the body turning yellow jaundice headquarters main office head office in marsat international maritime satellite satellite man-made flying object on the earth's orbit serving various purposes 17 getting to know the ship a cabin elon this is quite a big room with a big window a shower and a toilet second officer the ship's accommodations were built by the japanese ship owners they used to be much less attractive than the accommodations on European ships. Conditions have improved lately, though. Elon, is this telephone used only on board? Second officer, yes, it is. It's mostly used by the quartermaster to call you 15 minutes before your watch. There is a coastal telephone system at the bridge and in the general office. It covers the Japanese coastal area and also the Bashi Channel area. We use it to communicate with the head office. Elon, can I drink the water from the tap? Second officer, no, you shouldn't. It's only for washing and rinsing. We call it fresh water. It is distilled sea water that comes from an evaporator in the engine room. It may contain unwanted bacteria you should drink the water only from the water fountains. Elon, do I have to clean my cabin myself? Second officer, basically, yes. But the mess boy sweeps the ship once a week. He also changes the bed sheets every two weeks. Elon, the word antenna is written on this box by the wall. What is this antenna for? Second officer. This is a radio antenna. When you connect your radio to it, you can hear shortwave broadcast in your cabin. 
Take a single electrical wire and wind it 10 to 20 times into a coil with a diameter of about 10 centimeters. Then connect one end of the coil to this antenna terminal and the other to the ground terminal. Put the coil close to the radio. You can hear short wave clearly that way. Accommodation, living quarters, living areas. Ship owner, people or companies which own a ship. Less attractive, not favorable, not likable, not appealing. Conditions have improved, conditions have become better. Quartermaster, a crew to take her steering. Bashi Channel, a channel found between Taiwan and the Philippines. Tap, faucet, tap water equals water running from a faucet. Distilled, obtaining a liquid by condensing vapor. Evaporator, a machine used to heat and make vapor of a liquid. Unwanted bacteria, harmful microorganisms which may cause illnesses. Shortwave broadcast, radio broadcasts sent via waves of short wavelengths. Diameter, a straight line passing through the center of a circle. 18 Getting to know the ship, the dining hall. Chief Steward, here's the third mate's table, and here is the third engineer's table. Elon, thank you. Breakfast is served at 7 o'clock, lunch at 12 o'clock, and dinner served at 5.30. Chief Steward, that's right. But the third mate's dinner is served at 5 o'clock because you have to relieve the chief mate when he eats dinner. It is a self-serve dining room, so make sure that you return your dirty dishes to the basin in the galley after you finish your meal. Elon, I will. What kind of food do you serve here? Chief Steward, mainly Japanese food for the Japanese, and Filipino food for the Filipinos. But sometimes, we serve the same meal for everyone, such as when we have steak. Can you eat Japanese sashimi or sushi? Elon, no problem. I like sukiyaki. I'm interested in Japanese food, so I cut some Japanese recipes out of a newspaper and brought them with me. Chief Steward, that's good. I'll prepare something special for you someday. I think that we will serve sukiyaki for the welcome party after we're off at sea. Elon, that's splendid. Will we be able to drink beer? Chief Steward, we have a company policy about alcohol. You can drink, but there's a limit. In any case, just enjoy yourself and don't get drunk. Chief Steward, Chief Steward. Is served, meals are, offered or presented. Relieve, to release a person from duty. Galley, the kitchen of a ship or an airplane. Sashimi, a typical Japanese dish of sliced fresh, raw fish. Sushi, a typical Japanese dish of sliced raw fish placed on balls of seasoned rice. Skiyaki, a typical Japanese dish cooked with sliced beef and vegetables. Recipe, a list of ingredients and procedures for preparing food, medicine, etc. Off at sea, sailing in high waters, not moored in a port. Drunk, physical and mental weakness caused by taking too much alcohol. 19 Getting to know the ship, the upper deck. Chief officer, let me show you the deck. Be sure to wear your helmet whenever you work on deck. There's one that has third officer written on it. Elon, oh, I found it. Chief officer, we must go up one floor above the upper deck to D-deck. The entrance used should be the one opposite this one. Exit from the starboard side. Both doors on the upper deck should be shut firmly like this. Don't use this door unless there's an emergency. Elon, is this the deck seal tank of the inert gas system? Chief officer, inert gas is sent to this deck seal tank through that big pipe after it is generated by the inert fan room on top of the engine room. From here, it provides inert gas to each tank through the deck pipeline. The deck seal tank is the most basic safety device. Sea water is continuously supplied from the engine room. Elon, is it sent through a special pump? Chief officer, 
it's sent through the GS pump, the fire pump, and any other specialized deck seal seawater pump. If one pump breaks down, another one takes its place. Elon, this mooring winch looks like it's hydraulically operated. Chief officer, yes, there's one hydraulic pump in the steering engine room for the aft winch. Another is in the center store for the midship winch, and the third one is in the bosun store for the fore winch. Inform the engine room before you turn them on or off. Elon, are these the main pipelines, number one, number two, number three, the inert line, and the cow line? Chief officer, the pipelines are color coded for easy identification. This is a small line. This is a bunker line. This is a fire line. This is a foam line for the fire line. Opposite, the other side, the side facing you. Starboard side, the right hand side of a ship or aircraft. Deck seal tank, a tank used for collecting inert gas to seal off the deck in case of fire. Inert gas system, a system of a network of pipelines for supplying inert gas. Safety device, equipment used to enhance safety. GS pump, general service pump a pump used for general purposes, such as supplying fresh water. Mooring winch, a winch used for taking up a rope or chain used for mooring a ship. Hydraulically operated, something working by means of a fluid under pressure. Aft, toward the rear of a ship. Identification, a proof of a person's identity. Bunker line, a pipeline used to supply fuel to a ship's bunker, or a fuel storage. 20. Getting to know the ship, the poop deck. Second officer, I stand on the poop deck when berthing except when berthing SBM or anchoring. You have to let me know whenever we do a trial run of the engine. We do it every time we leave port. I then check if aft is normal, and then I check for fishing boats or small boats or if the crew has left any fishing tackle outboard. As for the accommodation ladder, we heave it up a little when the ship moves. After that, we do an engine test by contacting the engine room. Johnny, I see. How about checking the steering gears? Second officer, we do it before or after the engine test. You should do it after I enter the steering engine room. I check the movement of the rudder and see if the hydraulic system works well. Elon, communication between us is done only by transceiver? Second officer, basically, yes, but we can also use the one in the steering engine room. Elon, What's this wire? Second officer, it is a fire wire. A tube boat uses this wire to pull the ship from the berth when she can't move on her own, or in case of a fire during cargo loading and unloading. Regulations about setting this wire in port are very strict, so you have to follow the rules. This should be set whenever the ship enters the maritime traffic safety law areas in Japan. Elon. Is the emergency fire pump room under this deck? Second officer, yes, it is. It's just as described on the side of this door. It's under the steering room. Ask one of the engineers how to operate it later. Poop deck, a partial deck on the stem superstructure of a ship. SBM, single buoy for mooring a method of mooring a ship. Anchoring preventing a ship's free movement with a heavy object cast overboard. Trial run, a test run. Fishing tackle, fishing gear. Accommodation ladder, a ladder used to help people board a ship. Rudder, a plate secured to the stem of a ship used to direct its course. Hydraulic system, a mechanical system which is powered by pressurized liquid transceiver, a portable transmitter and receiver in one unit. Maritime Traffic Safety Law, a set of rules for navigating specified traffic routes in Japan. As described, as specified, as stated, as written in. 21 Getting to know the ship, the engine room. First engineer, here's your new workplace, the Persian Adventures engine room. Johnny, oh, 
The engine is huge. The room is bigger, brighter, and quieter than I thought. First engineer, it isn't very noisy at port, but it becomes quite noisy at sea. So be sure to wear earplugs when you work in here. It is important to keep the lighting equipment well maintained for safety reasons. Since you are in charge of electricity, you are also responsible for the safety of the workplace. Johnny, my job seems challenging and I'm excited. By the way, did you change the main engine fuel oil from heavy fuel oil to diesel oil before entering port? First engineer, we used to do that. Remember to always keep the FO pump working. Johnny, where are the cargo pumps? I don't see them. First engineer, for safety reasons, they are in the pump room in another section. All lights in the pump room are gas tied. Johnny, how do you switch pumps? First engineer, we use the number one group when outbound, and the number two group when inbound. We switch pumps while warming up the engine before we leave port. Johnny, do the two diesel generators run the same way? First engineer, the second engineer, who is in charge of the diesel generators, adjusts their operating times according to his work plan. Johnny, does the maintenance plan apply to the main engine and to all of the important auxiliary machines such as the generators, the air compressors, and the boilers? First engineer, you got it. Proper maintenance is essential for safe and economical navigation. First engineer, first engineer. Workplace, a place where a person works. Ear plugs, a set of plugs inserted in the ear to cut off noise. Well maintained, well taken care of. For safety reasons, to enhance safety, to avoid danger. Challenging, difficult. Heavy fuel oil, a grade of fuel oil used to power a vehicle. FO valves, fuel oil valve. FO pump, fuel oil pump. Gas tight, equipped with a mechanism for shutting off gas. Diesel generator, a power generator powered by diesel oil. Economical navigation, sailing at low cost. 22 Getting to know the ship, the engine control room. First engineer, let me briefly show you the control room equipment. This ship is a so-called M0 ship. The main engine can be operated from three places, the bridge, here in the control room, and locally. Johnny, what situations require the main engine to be operated from the bridge or locally? First engineer, we usually operate the main engine from the bridge while at sea. We have to operate locally when the remote control system breaks down. But special skills are required for that. We check and practice local operation before entering and leaving port. Will you be training soon? Johnny, yes, but I'm not sure about the schedule. First engineer, the main engine is a Hitachi BNW8 SAD MCE. Its CSO is 18,071 kW at 69.7 RPM. The diameter of the cylinders is 800 mm, and the piston stroke is 2,592 mm. Johnny, that's huge. A cylinder is big enough for an adult to work inside it? First engineer, exactly. We can go and see a cylinder when we are changing an exhaust valve. Johnny, I'll look forward to that. First engineer, the main engine and most auxiliary machines are operated and turned on and off here in the control room. We can check their condition, too. Johnny, do you mean that no one needs to stay in the engine room? First engineer, not exactly. As I said before, we use the M0 system so we don't need to check it while at sea. All of the engine room crew members engage in maintenance work. An engineer and an oiler assigned to an M0 watch have to check and maintain the main engine and the equipment in the engine room. Whenever the M0 alarm rings, they have to respond to it. Briefly, using just a few words, shortly. M0, man in machinery space 0. Remote control system, a way of controlling the operation of equipment from a faraway location. Practice, to do as a habit. 
CSO, continuous service output. RPM, revolution per minute a unit indicating the rotating speed of a turning object. Diameter, the straight line passing through the center of a circle. Cylinder, a chamber housing a reciprocating piston. Piston stroke, a single movement of a piston. Exhaust valve, a valve through which exhaust gas or liquid is discharged. Auxiliary, subsidiary, supplementary, being related to. Assigned to, given the task of doing something. 23 Getting to know the ship, the galley. Johnny, is it okay if I put the dirty dishes here? Chief Steward, sure. How was your meal? Johnny, it was very tasty. I really like the juicy steak and the big lobster. How much are your food expenses for us all? Chief Steward, they are now 1,500 yen a day per person. This is in accordance with the contract between the shipping companies and the All Japan Seamen's Union. This budget allows us to buy good food that is supplied in Singapore. Johnny, do we stop in Singapore? Chief Steward, no, we don't. We get the food from Singapore from a supply boat. It comes on several slings, and unloading it is hard work. Will you help us next time because we need all the arms we can find? Johnny, I will. By the way, may I use the refrigerator in the galley? Chief Steward, no problem. You have to write your name on your food, and make sure to keep the refrigerator clean. You may also use the microwave oven. Johnny, I usually have snacks during the night navigation watches, so I brought cup of noodle soups along. Can I boil water in the microwave oven? Chief Steward, no, you shouldn't use the microwave for that. You can use the water boiler in the galley. After you finish eating, remember to rinse the container before disposing of it. Expense, the amount of money spent. In accordance with, conforming to, following. Budget, a preset amount of money one can use. Sling, looped ropes or straps used for lifting something. Microwave oven, an oven which use microwaves to cook food. Night navigation watch, a night duty usually on the bridge and engine control room. Container, a can, bag, or box, etc. which can hold things inside. Disposing of, throwing away, getting rid of. 24 Getting to know the ship, the toilet. Second officer, let me show you the toilet. Elon, are there common toilets only in front of the COSI? Second officer, no. There are some in front of the workers' room on the upper deck, and others in the crew quarters on sea deck. The deck crew does the cleaning, but we must also make an effort to keep them clean. Elon, is the flush water sea water? Second officer, yes, it is provided by the GS pump in the engine room. You must immediately report any problem to the chief officer, for example, if the toilet clogs up or if the water doesn't stop running. That way repairs can be done quickly. We are all responsible for the maintenance of the ship. Elon, yes, sir. What should I do if I flush and water doesn't come out? Second officer, in that case, you can wash up using tap water by connecting the hose to the fresh water faucet. If that doesn't work, use the bucket to pour water in the toilet. It usually works that way. Elon, I hope it never happens to me. Second officer, this ship is okay. When you are on an old ship, there are many problems with pipes and filters getting clogged, and it makes flushing difficult, if not impossible. Elon, I heard that the toilet paper is stored in the deck store. When may I take some? Second officer, there are rolls in that locker. When they run out, ask the assistant officer for more. You may take some to your cabin, too. COC, crude oil control. Crew quarter, living areas, spaces for members of the crew. 
Make an effort to try to do something. Flush to wash away with water as in flush toilet. Immediately, right away, promptly. Clogs up, obstruct the movement of something. Faucet, tap, a device for regulating the flow of liquid, such as water. Impossible, not possible, something that cannot be done. Run out, to completely use up and have nothing more left. 25 Getting to know the ship, the chamber. Chief Steward, here are the goods that you ordered. Please take the ones with your name or rank written on them. Elon, these are mine. Three cartons of cigarettes and three cases of cola. Johnny, these three cases of juice and the case of cup of noodles are mine. Do you always deliver the goods after leaving port? Chief Steward, sure. I usually take orders before entering port, and then I send them by telex to a ship chandler. The ship advances the payments, and then we withdraw what you owe from your salary. Johnny, can we buy anything? Chief Steward, in general, yes. Groceries, cigarettes, and soap are the most common items. You can also buy electrical appliances if you don't mind paying high prices. Elon, I did not order any this time. But next time, can I buy fresh foods such as milk, eggs, or vegetables? Chief Steward, sure. You can make special orders. But we serve such food almost every day. We keep them in the chamber, so you can ask the steward to give you some, and you can store them for a few days in the refrigerator. Johnny, is the chamber partitioned? Chief Steward, yes, it's partitioned into four rooms. You have the lobby, the meat section, the fish section, and the vegetable section. Goods, products, merchandise. Deliver, to bring to a destination. Ship Chandler, a retail dealer of goods and equipment, especially supplying ships. Withdraw, to take out, take out money in this case. Oh, money being borrowed from someone. Groceries, foodstuff, household supplies. Electrical appliance, a device which is powered by electricity. Partitioned, divided into different sections. 26 Getting to know the ship, the deck tool store. Assistant officer, first, here is the carpenter's shop. Tools for the deck are stowed here and in the deck tool store. We keep the small tools, the screwdrivers, the wrenches, the Japanese carpenter tools, and the special purpose maintenance tools in this area. Elon, do you repair the pneumatic motor for the accommodation ladder here? Assistant officer, yes, we do. The digital gauge used to observe the eulage of the cargo is stowed and overhauled here, too. As you might know, you must return each tool to its original place. Elon, the tools are stored very neatly. Assistant officer, here's the deck tool store. Large tools are stowed here, you know, the chipping tools and the hoses. We also have the shock spanners used for loosening or tightening the cargo valve bolts, claw bars, chain hoists and grease pumps. Elon, do you also have the paint store and the consumable goods store? Assistant officer, yes. I keep the key to the consumable goods store. You will get working gloves every month. The paint store is outside. Elon, out in the paint store, here it is. There seems to be various kinds of paint. Assistant officer, most of it is deck paint called denatured tar epoxy. You mix the base with the hardener. Make sure to clean the brushes after you use them. Rinse them in thinner and then soak them in water. If you don't do this, the brushes will be ruined, and we'll have to throw them away. Assistant officer, assistant officer. Carpenter's shop workshop where carpentry is done deck tool store tool storage located on the deck screwdriver a tool used for turning screws wrench 
a hand tool with adjustable jaws for gripping things. Special Purpose Maintenance Tool Tools used to carry out special maintenance, repair, work. Pneumatic Working with air pressure. Eulage Amount of liquid in a cask or barrel or oil tanker. Overhauled Opened up to clean the inside of something. Chipping Tool A tool used to remove things. Claw Bar Iron bar with a bent and forked end. Consumable goods, materials that can be used up. Working gloves, heavy cotton gloves used for handwork. Denatured tar epoxy, thermosetting resin of a changed quality. Hardener, a substance used to make other things solid or harden up. Thinner, a liquid used to dilute paint, etc. Turpentine. Soak to dip in a liquid such as water. 27 Getting to know the ship, the engine store. Second engineer, here is the consumable goods store. Whenever you take something out, you should write down the date, the name, and number of the article, and your name in this notebook. The first engineer has the key to this room. Johnny, you mean this notebook hanging on the wall? There are so many articles. How can I remember each one? Second engineer, consumable goods are separated into three departments, the deck, the engine, and the purser. The spare parts store is in the engine room. Let's go down there now so I can show you. Johnny, are the spare parts of all the machines stowed in the spare parts store? Second engineer, not all, but most of them. For example, the spare parts for the conditioning refrigerator plant or for the provision refrigerator plant are stowed near them, and some parts for the main engine are in the workshop. Johnny, hmm, supplying seems rather hard work. How do you manage that? Second engineer, to control the supply properly, we must note the date and the number of the part in the spare parts list in the engine control room. We have been thinking of introducing a system to enter all of the data into a computer. It would control the spare parts inventory on the ship or on shore. Purser, officer in charge of money matters. Spare part, extra components. Conditioning refrigerator plant, cooling unit to air condition rooms. Provision refrigerator plant, cooling unit to chill foodstuffs. Inventory, a record of things a person, or a ship, has. 28 conversation during a meal Johnny, I feel better now that we've left port Elon, well, we sure have a lot to learn from now on Everyone on board is kind and willing to help when we ask them It's tough work but well worth doing Johnny, it sure is I am really determined to work hard Chief Steward, hi Have you learned the ways with the ship yet? Elon, Yes, thank you for your help. The food's delicious, and we'll manage with our new jobs. By the way, where are you from? Chief Steward, I'm from Nagasaki. Many seamen come from there. But over the last two decades, the number of seamen there has dropped, and there aren't any more young seamen. Johnny, I'm sorry to hear that. Isn't Nagasaki the place where the Americans dropped an atomic bomb during World War II? Chief Steward, yes, it is, but that happened long before I was born. Elon, tell me more about Nagasaki. Chief Steward, the city has an interesting history. During the Tokugawa era, it was the only port open to foreign trade. Dutch sailors and traders used to come here. Johnny, oh. I've heard about some exotic mansion in the city. Chief Steward, that's the Glover Mansion. Holland Slope is also famous. There is a Dutch-style theme park nearby. Elon, I'd love to go there. Willing to, be ready to do something. Well worth doing, important enough to spend the time and energy. Delicious, tasty, yummy, good to eat. Nagasaki, a port city located in the western part of Kyushu. Two decade, 20 years. Atomic bomb, 
a bomb with destructive power from the release of nuclear energy. World War II, Second World War Tokugawa era, the time of the longest military government in Japan, ruled by Tokugawa shoguns. Foreign trade, exchanging of goods with a foreign country. Dutch, of or the people of Holland. Exotic, foreign, strange, and attractive. Mansion, a large house. Glover Mansion, old mansion of the Glover family in Nagasaki, known for the beautiful gardens and as a model for the opera Madame Butterfly Holland Slope, a famous tourist spot in Nagasaki. Theme Park, an amusement park laid out with a special plan. 29 Welcome Party Chief Officer, everyone, we're hosting a welcome party for the new members on board. First, I would like to ask Captain Phillips for a welcome address on behalf of the crew. Captain, gentlemen, let me say a few words to welcome you aboard the Persian Adventure. This ship sails between Japan and the Persian Gulf. Loading ports for this voyage are RAS Tanura in Saudi Arabia and Karg Island in Iran. Our ETA is May 30th. It will take a total of six days to load the cargo in the Persian Gulf, so the arrival date at Kawasaki, the discharging port, will be around June 23rd. We can expect moderate weather throughout the voyage. However, we might have poor visibility due to rain or monsoons in the Indian Ocean. Safe navigation is most important. Also keep yourselves in good health. The steward crew has prepared a wonderful dinner, so have fun and enjoy the party. Thank you. Chief Officer, thank you very much, Captain. Now, we will ask our Chief Engineer to make a toast. Does everyone have a glass? Chief Engineer, gentlemen, welcome to the great and beautiful VLCC, the Persian Adventure. I'm Chief Engineer Sato. First, I'd like to turn your attention to the gorgeous sunset outside. How lucky we are. I would like to make a toast to our health, our families, and to the safe navigation of this ship. Cheers. All, cheers. cheers. Chief Officer, thank you very much. Enjoy the feast before you, sukiyaki, sashimi, and much more. Later on, we will have karaoke. Everyone is welcome, even the ones who can't carry a tune. Hosting a welcome party, to hold a party, a merry gathering. Address, to speak to, make a formal speech. On behalf of, on the part of, representing someone else. Persian Gulf, a body of water in the Arabian Sea between the Arabian Peninsula and Iran. RAS Tanura in Saudi Arabia port city of Saudi Arabia in the Persian Gulf. Kark Island in Iran, islands located off the southwestern coast of Iran in the Persian Gulf. EDA, estimated time of arrival. Discharging port, a port where the cargo is unloaded. Moderate weather, mild and favorable weather. Monsoons, seasonal strong winds and heavy rain. Indian Ocean, large body of water stretching from Asia to Australia and Africa. Make a toast, raise a glass and drink to honor something. Cheers, interjection used when making a toast. Feast, large specially prepared meal usually to celebrate something. Can't carry a tune, be a poor singer, cannot sing well. 30 The Gymnasium Johnny, the party last night was great fun. The chief officer really poured his heart out when he sang my way. Elon, yeah, but it's bad for our health to eat so much. We have to stay in shape and exercise regularly. Second officer, hey, did you say you would be exercising? Elon, I sure did. We want to sweat it out a bit. What kind of exercise do you do, second officer? Second officer, I always lift weights and do push-ups, and then I run around the deck three times. I'm starting to get flabby. What kind of sports is popular in your country? Johnny, we used to swim, bowl, and box at school. But there are few facilities, so we can't always enjoy sports. 
How about in Japan? I know that many sports are very popular there. Second officer, as far as children are concerned, the most popular sports are baseball, basketball, and recently, soccer. And there are many schools that specialize in all kinds of sports, from swimming to Japanese fencing. Parents encourage their kids to take part in sports. At traditional festivals, we have children's sumo tournaments at shrines. As for professional sports, sumo is the national sport, but we also enjoy baseball, football, and golf. Elon, I have watched Japanese sumo tournaments on TV. Foreign sumo wrestlers seem to be doing well recently. Second officer, oh, yes. Some sumo wrestlers come from Hawaii. Okay. I will go for a jog now. You should wear good jogging shoes so that you won't hurt your knees. Poured his heart out, showed his emotion or feeling. Stay in shape, not to put on weight, to stay slim. Exercise regularly, to engage in sport or exercise on a regular basis. Sweat it out, to exercise until sweat comes out. Lift weights, pick up and raise heavy items in an effort to build muscles. Flabby, loose, lacking force or stamina. Few facilities, there are not many facilities. As far as children are concerned, talking about children. Specialize in, to become particularly good at. Sumo tournaments, a tournament of a traditional sport of Japan. Go for a jog, go to run lightly. 31 The Recreation Room Johnny, let's go watch a video. Elon, that's a good idea since we can't watch TV in here. What kind of videos do they have? Johnny, there are quite a few American movies and many Japanese movies. But we don't understand Japanese. Elon, American movies are fun. Let's watch light, entertaining ones rather than serious movies. Johnny, how about Back to the Future? It's about a young boy's adventure. He travels in time into the past and the future. Elon, this one here is pretty good. It's Home Alone. It's about a little boy who outweets thieves. Second engineer, hi. Will you be watching a video? May I join you? Johnny, sure. Come right in. We were trying to decide what to watch. Second engineer, there are many good Japanese videos. The best one is Men Have It Hard. Elon, what's it about? Second engineer, the main character is a man who was born in an old part of Tokyo. He seems to be a good for nothing man. He has no money, but he has a good, caring heart. He always tries to help people, especially ladies in distress. The movie includes many rural scenes, and it depicts the lives of country people. Johnny, I wish there were an English version. Second engineer, most of Torasan's language is hard to put into English. Johnny, you have such a large video collection here. Did someone copy the movies? Second engineer, of course not. That would be against the copyright law. Our company gives us a small budget for entertainment, so we use that money to buy some of the most popular videos. Entertaining, amusing, enjoyable. Serious, grave, in earnest. Adventure, exciting experience often filled with danger. Out tweets, to be smarter than the other. Thieves, people who steal other people's possessions. Good for nothing, not useful. Ladies in distress, women who are in trouble and needing help. Depicts, show something using graphic images or words. Copyright law, a law that protects the legal rights of the originator. Thanks for watching. If you like my content, please don't hesitate to press the like button. If you want to be updated when I post new videos, hit subscribe. I hope you enjoy.